Hello, welcome to Random Spontaneous Idiot. Um, I'm Hank Dynamo, and I'm here to continue what I was doing with the CDs. Just going through all of my CDs. Um, this is part two. I'm going to start with Frank Zappa, which I have. I have like seven Frank Zappa CDs. The first one is Freak Out, which is his first album. And this, like, this really innovated rock music and psychedelic m music. Like, the Beatles loved this before they made Revolver. Um,. Jimi Hendrix loved it when it came out, you know, so, like, I think it really kind of fueled rock music, and it's, it's really, it's good, it's weird, then I have the second album, Absolutely Free, and I paid nine dollars for it, so... <laughs> We're only in it for the money, where he goes back and spoofs the Beatles. <laughs> it doesn't really, like, the music isn't really like the Beatles, but just the album cover. It's just kind of funny, since they, they kind of took from his music, and then he took from their stuff. <laughs> and then, uh... Freezing with Ruben in the Jets. It's like a really good oldies album. Um, probably my favorite oldies album, if I had to pick one. I'm not into the albums very much when it comes to oldies music, because I just know the singles and the hits. Hot Rats, which is like fusion, kind of like Mahavishnu Orchestra. It's weird, like, most of, a lot of his stuff is, just sounds like it could have been written by a completely different person than the last thing. Have weasels hurt my flesh? Apostrophe, an overnight sensation, which I, are like... They're, they're my two favorite Frank Zappa albums, probably. Um, next here, I have Insomniac by Green Day, which is their fourth album. I feel like this is the best. It's, it's the only one I really like wanted a CD of. The first two albums were kind of, um, they were like indie punk, but it was like, it was like real punk of the early 90s, just kind of like, kind of still pop punk, but, um, not the same as what they got popular doing. And then the third album, um, Dookie, was pretty poppy and got them really popular, which I, I like those first three albums, but this one just really kind of puts it all together in a way, and, uh, is definitely my favorite one. It's a really good album. Then next here I have Reliant K. This is one of the first three CDs that I ever got. I think I showed another one in my first video. Oops. This one, which is also one of the f one of the first three CDs I ever got. It's hard to put these back in there. But anyway, back to this. It's their first three albums, which are kind of like pop-punk ones. 
which is how they got started. Um, and they're good for what they are. I don't listen to a whole lot of, like, pop punk anymore, but they were pretty good at it. They were the best, they were the best at it to me. I wasn't into that much of it, really. And then I have Forget and Not Slow Down, and Five Score and Seven Years Ago, also by Erlang K. And these ones are like, they're like indie, well, they, they sold a lot. I'm not sure how they'd be classified as indie, but people call it like indie rock, or like, alternative rock. I'd say they're like masterpieces for what they are. <clears throat> like just super great albums. With piano and they still kind of have the elements of their old selves. But they really got a lot better. The next here I have Another kind of pop punk band like called Stellar Cart. They were a Christian band. They're nice, but I don't really like listen to them anymore. I still listen to Real NK though. Then I have Switchfoot. They're another alternative band. Um they're a Christian band too. This is probably my third favorite Switchfoot album. My favorite... Well, my second favorite would be Beautiful Letdown, which I don't have a CD of. And then my favorite would be Hello Hurricane. I also don't have a CD of that, but... I just never came across them yet. The next thing I have here is a Traveling Mulberries box set. Um, let me try to get that out of there. It comes with like a little book, and then three, three things in here. It's a 3D, three CD set, um, of the first album, the second album, and a DVD. The DVD has like a little documentary kind of thing. And it also has, um, music vi videos. <clears throat> and then, the two albums have bonus tracks in this collection, which are really good songs. I'm not sure why they were bonus tracks. And then the next CDs I have are, like, a ton of Weird Al CDs. So, I think I better cut this off here. And start a new video with that. So, um, till next time. Hope, hope you enjoyed this video.